what I want to do. I want to make, as a piece of merch, one of those mm. old school thermos and lunchbox combos. Oh, that'd be awesome. Right? I looked into do this a while still, ago uh, and like, I couldn't like find a way to do it. Do they still really make like, lun do kids use lunch boxes? Is that still even a thing? Yeah, what's going on out there? Like, how do they get their food to school? Like, I remember, for me, having a cool lunchbox, like, as a kid, it was, like, a thing. Do, do they still give a shit anymore? Do they eat oh. off of tablets that can play Fortnite now? Is that the thing? You know, I was- there's a lot of things like that, where I think, like, man, like, do kids, like, still do these things? It seems like they don't. And then I remember, yeah, it's like, oh, it's just like, I don't have kids or any younger relatives, so I'm just not around kids anymore. I have I'm not no one to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Frame of I, reference. The, I was, the other day I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking about this, but do you remember Fifth Disease? Fifth no. Disease? It was- this, Is that a fucking plague that affected travelers in the 1800s? What the fuck? <laughs> when I was in, like, kindergarten, I remember kids would get, like, Fifth Disease all the time, and it would be- the, the craziest fucking thing, where it's like, oh, you gotta stay away from this person, they got fifth disease. And it what was- What the fuck is fifth disease? It's like this weird face rash. Oh but now, I'm like, I remember, like, someone got fifth disease in your school, and it was a big deal. And- I've never even heard of it. I, I think there's a proper name for it, but fifth disease is what people called it. Um, but that was a big deal, and then I was wondering the other day, like, do people still get that? Or, or is it like a thing that went away, or is it a thing that I just don't hear about because I'm not like, in kindergarten anymore? I have never heard of fifth disease in my life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe with a special disease they made up for my school. Just to scare the kids into behaving. Yeah, did you yeah. go to fifth school? You were like, uh, the ground zero <laughs> for it? A fucking disease named after the school. <laughs> Yo, I do remember, there was this one year, though, in... Um, when I was in elementary school, I think this was just a New York thing, where there was asbestos in all the schools, so mm -hmm. the, like, school year was delayed by a few months, and you went to school, and half the school was covered with, uh, like, this, like, plastic stuff, and you couldn't go past the plastic boundaries, or you'd be breathing in asbestos and die. Holy shit. That's pretty severe. That might not have just been schools here, that might have been, like, every building in New York or something like that. That was- I remember that being a big deal. Jesus. Uh, we have enough for a loadout. Already. Y'all, I'm pulling in work. Oh, fifth disease, um, someone in my- Carl's Jr. in my chat thinks it's, uh, hand, foot, and mouth disease is what that the fifth disease is. That's even is. more confusing. <laughs> I thought like that stopped happening in the 1800s. Yeah, that sounds like something we have vaccines for now. Yeah. <laughs> they blamed it on the devil back then. <laughs> I mean, the way it. people acted about this thing, it might as well have been the fucking devil. I never got it, but I thought, like, I thought, I heard about it, I thought it was just, like, another chicken pox, but people were horrified of it. Fuck. There's a guy on top of me. Damn it. Get a knife. I mean, see, I just, I guess I'm just super out of touch with kids. My brother's got three young kids, and uh -huh. one of them's like a nine-year-old, and he's, he's a boy. So I was like, ah, I, I know what they're into, Fortnite and Minecraft. And I went, hey, man, what video games are you playing? And he went, Terraria. And I, oh, I was just, like, blown away. I thought you had to be, like, a teenager to give a shit about Terraria. Oh, my, they're, they're everywhere. It's everywhere, man. Terraria's Fuck. fucking everywhere, apparently. I had no idea Terraria was that big. Yeah, I hear about it sometimes, but I never, I never even tried it to be honest. I mean, it's it's in a way just 2D Minecraft, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's got the same kind of feel to it. Uh, yeah. Very relaxing nonsense. Yeah. It might be because my brother's a giant fucking nerd, though, because he also was a fan of the Dungeons and Dragons beat 'em up game on arcade. And it's like, you definitely were playing it because of him. Wait a sec, when, what, when was that from? Uh, like the mid-90s? It's a kick-ass arcade game where you pick one of six characters and like you actually have different paths and you can write a story and shit. Is there one character that's like a giant snake? Mm, no, there's... It's like the classics, like your druid, warrior... Yeah, oh. there's... One of the classes is just elf. Like, not even a, not even a class, it's just you pick, pick the elf. And it's like a hot chick with a sword, and I picked her because it was cool. Hell yeah. I'm gonna die. I am oh. so dead. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Back of the head. Them. 
Um, th there, yo, the reason I ask that, there is this one game that I played it one time in my fucking life at this arcade. It had to be the early 90s, and it's this fighting game. And all I remember from it was, like, there was this one big snake character that looked like Globulus from G.I. Joe. And I, I've i tried everything to try and find what this game was, and I just can't find it. But it, it, I definitely remember it being a one-on-one one -on -one fighter. But I think this I think the, I think like the snake a... guy was a guy that you couldn't play as. He was just in like an enemy of some sort. It was and you were in like this Joe fighter? I fucking wished. Yo, how did I just get two of the same gun? That was nuts. I don't know, I've tried all I don't even remember the character I had. I but like when you said Dungeons Dragons fighting game, I thought that could have been that, but I guess not. Nah, this one's just called Dungeons and Dragons, and I think it's made by Capcom, and it's a 2D beat em up like final fight. Yeah. And when you start the game, you pick your class, and you beat a bunch of people up, and like it's it's really in depth. You give your character yeah. a name, and you can choose different paths, and like there's yeah, like three. Yeah, there's like ho three whole fully told stories in the game, and like you can only get them by playing it three times through. It's fucking nuts. It's a really cool game. Oh, I'm the only one alive. I didn't realize that. I need Holy some shit, money. it's been ported to Steam. I'm gonna play the shit out of that. I love that game. But yeah, he's he's only nine years old and we uh my brother's got like an arcade built into his garage. He's got like a bunch of those like you know, you download the emulator on a computer and it's like four thousand arcade games or whatever. Mm -hmm. right. So we hopped on and I was like, What do you want to play, man? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, Alright, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, because this game's awesome. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he knew everything about it, and I was like, "Awesome!" Def it's definitely because my brother's yeah, showing he, it to him. He, he didn't go out of his way to discover <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons on his own. Oh, see, Matt doesn't know I have a brother. I have three brothers. Most people don't know that. One of them's been on stream, actually. I played uh, I played Hitman with my other brother a long time ago, and uh, he was. Uh, how do I eloquently describe this? He was he was enjoying the Kentucky bluegrass real hard. So oh, uh, he barely a... had any concept of what we were doing while we were playing Hitman. And it was great. It was a fun for, stream. For some reason, even though obviously he's your brother and he's from where you're from, I just pictured him having a southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that ep I just imagine like they all look like you. It's like that episode of The Simpsons where they find the distant relatives. It's like it's uh, have junk mail manager, Fest, where it's the same actor but just with a, a fucking Texas hat and a Southern accent. <laughs> and it's no, his I didn't brother. See that. <laughs> oh man, oh, have you I have you seen that movie, Justin? Or something, Matt? No, I haven't seen Beer Fest. Beer Fest is made by the guys who made like uh, Super Troopers and all those movies. Super Troopers and uh, at one point, halfway through the movies, the fat guy in their group he dies. He gets drowned in a vat of beer. And later on, they're like, oh, man, how are we going to compete in the beer drinking contest now? We only have four players. And there's a knock at the door, and they open it, and it's the fat guy, but he's wearing a cowboy hat. And they're like, they're like, they're like Bill, you're alive. And he goes, nope, I'm his brother Will from Texas. And it's literally just the same actor with a fucking, uh, with a western accent and a cowboy hat on, and they just never acknowledge it. Hell yeah. I bet it's halfway really through the good. movie, halfway through the movie, they pretty probably just decided he wanted to do a voice, and that's what happened. That's what I think they oh, should man. have done with Apu. When there's that whole controversy about Apu's voice, I'm like, here's how they should handle this. You just... How, don't get rid of Apu, but just have him all of a sudden have an American voice. Uh -oh, oh, man! Shit. Yeah, there was nothing you could do. Yeah. Just have him have an American voice. And nobody reacts to it. Nobody acts like anything's different. He just sounds, like, hi, I'm Apu. H Hello, I am Apu. Yeah, I was like, gonna so... say, which American accent should we give him? Like Boston, Southern, you know? Yeah, it would. It would so, maybe so a different just, American accent each time. Is he just gone? Is he removed from the show? I don't. For, for all I know, every character from The Simpsons is removed now, and it's like yeah, Final Fantasy. Because so, that gives me two big questions. Number one. Do they just never go to the Quickie Mart ever anymore? And number two, what do they do when they air old episodes? I don't, you know I, what I mean? I imagine they probably... I mean, they would have to just not syndicate that show at all to get to where we're at. I remember back in the day, they got rid of the New York episode because of the World Trade Center. 
Well, I, they got rid of the episode with Michael Jackson because of the controversy. Oh, and it's yeah, like, they did. It's like if you're not airing episodes because of controversies, shouldn't you technically never air an episode with Apu again? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I that's fucked because I is, think yeah. someone did like a totals and it was like outside of the Simpsons family, Apu is the number one character that shows up yeah, in the show. Yeah, he's a staple there. Yeah. yeah. Make us proud. <laughs> you cannot kill me, you motherfucker. Mm. 